Hey guys, it's your girl Jay Poetic and I'm back for another video. Stay tuned for more lifestyle videos, product reviews, and videos on spirituality. I'm not Patty LaBelle, but you should hit that bell. Did you do it yet? Did you do it? Did you do it? Alright guys, here we go. So this is a video. We're going to be making our own um, deep conditioner. Specifically more like a protein deep conditioner. Um, that's still very moisturizing. So, without further ado, I'm going to just explain the ingredients to you, explain why. So, this is the Organic Root Stimulator, or ORS, Hair Restorative Mayonnaise Conditioner. Um, so this was like way down to here, and then I added some ingredients to it to make my own um, deep conditioner, which is what's in this now. The things that I added into it were mayonnaise, some organic root stimulator, olive oil, um, orange, sweet orange oil um, conditioner, the one in the bottle, but it is the same conditioner as this little pack here, and uh, a couple hair oils and so on. So I literally added like olive oil mayonnaise into it. This is the Compliments brand from Walmart. But yeah, you could use any kind because mayonnaise is essentially um, pasteurized eggs, um, oil, and um, yeah. Um, if I sound a little different or shaky, to be honest, I just finished having like an anxiety attack. So... Uh, I don't know why, um, but I'm just pushing through and doing this because I meant and needed to do it. Anyway, enough about me. So, um, there's still some of that conditioner in here, so we're just going to add some new things to it. Okay? Sorry guys, but that's real life and I'm into being as honest as I can. So anyway, I want to mention the Organic Root Stimulator Hair, hair Mayonnaise with uh, nettle leaf and horsetail is a really great uh, moisturizing protein conditioner. You can find this at Walmart. This isn't sponsored by the way, um, but this is a really great protein conditioner, just like the organic root stimula stimulator olive oil replenishing conditioner is really great protein conditioner. But this is hair mayonnaise, so we're essentially going to make the same thing. Only thing is we're going to use real mayonnaise. So, that's what's in here now. I'm going to add about hmm, a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. I got these uh, Betty Crocker measuring cups. So, we'll do that. So just to show you guys that this is like regular mayonnaise that you would like put on a sandwich. Oh, but to let you guys know though, I bought this specifically for making like hair and DIY things with. So this is just the one that I use for that. This isn't one that I use for like making sandwiches or anything. Okay, so this is almost a fourth cup, a little less than that. But uh, I'm going to spoon it into here. I personally don't eat eggs, but they are amazing for your hair and your skin because they're full of not only um, cholesterol, but also of fat and protein. So next up... I'm going to add some of this olive oil conditioner. Now, if you guys are worried about the smelling like mayonnaise, that's the reason we're going to add other things into it. So, like I said, we're going to add this organic root stimulator, olive oil replenishing conditioner. This is a protein conditioner, guys. So, this is a protein conditioner that will not... Um, cause your hair to be dry but it does strengthen it and you can feel the difference in it and it also smells like oranges so it smells really good and we're just gonna put 
rest of that. I'm doing this one-handed, so I mean, I can get the rest out of that when we're done. So also, we're going to add some natural oils into this. So, sorry if you guys heard the water there, I just wrenched my hand off. We're going to add some of this Proclaim 7 oils. I use this in my hair, it smells pretty good, and it just has 7 different oils in it that are good for, why is it not coming out? Oh, there it is that are good for your hair oh my god oh my it's real life guys hold on of course when your anxiety is acting up everything doesn't go as planned but we're not gonna let that ruin our night anyway so yeah this is the proclaim i got this from sally's beauty supply it works pretty good it smells pretty good yeah so we're just gonna add a little bit of that Enough to give it a good smell and enough to add moisture since this is basically a protein um, rich conditioner. We're not done. We're also going to add some of this almond oil. And I got this almond oil from the grocery store in the um, uh, like international section. So this is like something that would be used for cooking. However, I've been putting it on my skin and hair and with good results. Almond oil, if you don't know, is high in vitamin E. It's also antibacterial. So that is a good thing to have. It's also used in hair oiling. Uh, a lot of different cultures use it for hair oiling, including but not limited to uh, people in India. And they have gorgeous, beautiful hair. Speaking of gorgeous, beautiful hair, if you know anything about any hair, hair has collagen and protein in it. This is the Organica um, Your Natural Solution or, or original, organ, uh, original Enhanced Collagen. So this is literally a collagen supplement that you would add into your water, your coffee. I like to add it into soups and smoothies. But yeah, you add this into your food or drink to enhance the collagen within your body. Um, yeah, so you're going to get the most benefits from collagen from consuming it on the inside, meaning taking it by a supplement or eating collagen-rich foods. Um, however, it can be used in beauty products, both DIY, um, skincare products, hair products, etc., you guys so I'm gonna add just a little bit of that in because it can't hurt anything it can only help <laughs> it can only enhance as it says on the bottle there oh my god Jesus Christ Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I'm anxious and everything's not working. Nothing wants to come out. But we're just going to... Whoa, that was a lot. We're just going to add some of that into there. Put the lid back on her. Put her to the side. Then also... Now this site... You guys may think I'm weird. So this is um, whole wheat flour. And I'm going to add some of that in there, too. Why am I adding whole wheat flour into that, you might say? And I've never done the whole wheat flour part. I've done the rest of this, but I've never done the whole wheat flour part. The reason I'm adding that in is because whole wheat flour has wheat in it. It has grains in it, which um, basically, like if you look at any hair products, they usually have... They'll list whey protein or wheat or wheat germ or things like that you want herbs and grains that are going to cause um, things to be strong and um, just like wheat is stronger than like white flour or anything like that we're going to put that a little bit of that in there yeah next up 
we're going to, these are some um, gel capsules vitamins. This is evening primrose oil, which I know a lot of people take this for their skin. Um, some people take it for allergies and for um, eczema. Uh, a lot of pregnant women also take it to um, thin out their uterine lining to bring on contrap con contraptions. Contraptions, guys. Let's get trapped. No, contractions um, to go into labor. So that's an old mid midwives thing. Uh, and this is the omega-3 uh, capsules. So I'm just going to take one of these gel capsules from each, poke a hole in it, and get the oil in there. So we're actually going to use two of the Evening Primrose gel capsules because um, one is not as big as the Omega-3 fish oil supplement that we have. And also, this is the Kirkland's Omega-3 fish oil supplement. Um, I just, I have a big bottle of the Kirkland's one, so I now have been refilling the Jameson one. So it's not the Jameson brand, although I do like the Jameson brand. None of these products are sponsored, by the way. Um, so yeah, we're just going to poke holes from that to get the fish oil, the omega-3 oil, the evening primrose oil, vitamin E, etc. We're going to add it into here. We're also going to be adding some coconut oil this is some this is some pure valley organic coconut oil uh, it looks like that it's cold pressed the reason I had a ratchet ass plastic bag on top of it is because I don't know it fell from the top of my cupboard one day and um, the cap from it like split so I've just been paper plastic bagging it all right, yeah, this is real life, guys. Guys, so I poked a hole in this fish oil supplement. Um, I'm just going to squeeze it into there. I will say I was going to use a knife. However, that wasn't working, so I ended up using my teeth. Uh, wouldn't suggest that because I got a mouthful of fish oil, which didn't taste the best. Oh, God. Okay guys, so my phone died. I don't remember what I was saying before that, but this is the consistency of the deep conditioner. Now I know what you're all thinking. Does it smell like mayonnaise or like all the junk that we put into it? No, it doesn't. It actually smells like oranges, believe it or not, because of that organic root stimulator or conditioner we put in here. Now, if you're asking yourself why I put um, oils into there, then you can look up or research a bunch of things about hair oiling and how even though we do need to cleanse our hair, we also need to replenish it with um, oils. Specifically, if you have curlier hair, um, then you need more oils because your natural oil, hair oil, or your sedum doesn't reach to the end of your hair as easily as it does for people who have a straighter texture of hair because of the fact that your hair um, goes in coils and waves. Your um, hair follicles are in the shapes of crescents and half moons as opposed to being full circles. So anyway, this is beneficial for any hair texture though. Um, so yeah, this is... Um, it doesn't smell like mayonnaise or like any of the things we put in it. it. actually smells good because of this hair oil that I added to it that smells good by Proclaim, which I got from Sally's Beauty Supply, and because of the conditioner that was in it. Because there's a little bit more room in this jar, I don't know if you can see that, uh, I'm going to add some regular deep conditioner, which is by the brand Maui Moisture. This is a hydrating um, shea butter hair mask and I'm just going to add a spoonful to this because of the fact that I have more room and uh, it can only enhance the smell and the texture but yeah anyway guys if you're wondering why I'm putting all this stuff into a deep conditioner a DIY deep conditioner for my hair it's for two reasons one if you think about it all the things that you put into your body that you eat and you drink or supplements that you take nourish the inside of your body 
those things will also nourish the outside of your body. And even though I love, 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 you guys know I'm a product junkie, I love, love, love buying things from the store and will continue to do so, I also love making things and mixing things together. And to be honest, guys, I've always been this way. Um, if you asked any of my family or close friends or anybody, then you'll know that, one, I love cooking, I love mixing things, I love coming up with concoctions and stuff like that, and yeah. So if you guys want to try out this conditioner recipe, then go right ahead. Um, again, I'll give you the rundown. We used organic root stimulator um, conditioner. We used almond oil. We used Proclaim 7 hair oil from uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. We used coconut oil. We used evening primrose oil from a supplement. We used omega-3 oil from a supplement, we used collagen powder, and we used flour, whole wheat flour. Alright guys, I'm your girl Jay Poetic, stay tuned for more lifestyle videos, product reviews, and videos on spirituality. I'm not Patty LaBelle, but you should hit that bell. Alright, bye guys. Guys, it's your girl Jay Poetic, so I'm just adding this clip to the um, homemade conditioner uh uh, recipe that I already put down so this is my aloe vera plant my lovely nephew who's acting as my assistant is holding it right now um, so yeah basically I meant to add a sprig of this aloe vera plant the aloe vera gel from my aloe vera plant into this conditioner that we made but uh, I forgot to so I'm going to do that now I also just wanted to tell you guys that if you have access to aloe vera that um, aloe vera is really good in high in nutrients and really good for your skin and your hair. So feel free to add that into your conditioner recipe. All right, guys, take care. Uh, there's something that won't let me